Hello again, friends, and welcome back to Railroader. We're here on the Blue Ridge and uh, Western, and it's late. It's night on the first day, and we have been called back into service because there are cars that need to be picked up. So let's see, what locomotive should we take? 95, 70, so I guess our crews haven't arrived yet to fix. So we'll go ahead and take number two here. Down, we need to go pick up the cars that are down at uh, Ela and bring them back to the interchange because they're ready to go. Up, oh, get that handbrake. Let's go ahead and get out of the yard here. We gotta go pick up those cars. Alrighty, and off we go. So, we've only advanced time a few hours here since our last video. Uh, I was hoping to get us all the way to tomorrow in game, but I thought better of it for two reasons. One, I wanted to see how our lumber was going, because lumber means money, and in the early game, whatever money we can get, we should do. Um, and if we, while well, we're let this kind of roll here, we go up the hill to Connolly Creek. We have almost all of our lumber train, or at least our log train, ready to go. Uh, the last two cars only have uh, a little bit of lumber on them. 0.8 logs on this one, 0.2 on the other. The others are all at three. So hopefully, once we get done with number two here, uh, maybe we'll send it up the mountain and just wait for it to pick up the remaining cars once they fill up here. But in the meanwhile, switches are aligned. Let's get rolling. Let's uh, bring the reverser back just a little bit. And go pick up those cars. Management won't be pleased if we dilly-dally. Time is money. Tempest Fugit. And we're currently at $4,000 in the red. We've been able to make up some money. Now the question is, it's late at night. Is there any passenger traffic to warrant bringing out number one and doing a run or two with it while we're here? I guess we'll find out once we go past the station. But, uh, I don't know. Usually at this time of night, there's not a lot of passengers anyways. But who knows, they've been building up for the past few hours. Might be, uh, might be worthwhile to do. So, let's continue on down here. Twelve passengers. I think we'll hold off till tomorrow. We did a couple of runs today doesn't make a lot of sense. Plus, we need to get that locomotive and the passenger car uh, fixed up a little bit here. So, we'll just cruise on down to Ela. So, we need to think about priorities as we look to day two in game. So, obviously, I don't want to take out any debt if I can. The milestones we've got is repair Ela track and bridge. So we're going to go ahead and buy that next set of cars. Uh, diesel stand, we really don't need it yet. Although, yeah. And then purchase track to Silva. Uh, you guys in the comments have been letting me know that the plan should be to go to Alarca first. So we'll focus on the Bryson Bridge when we get there. You know what? We'll go ahead and get the diesel fueling stand as well. So now with all of that done, we're sitting at about 2600 or so. There's still plenty of money. 
and uh, hopefully we can do some cheesing of a few things that'll help us to uh, keep our money in a good position. And that's definitely not by uh, getting the log train uh, already down here. So the moment it clicks over at night, we can go ahead and start unloading the logs and make as much moolah as we can. So, I mean, while we're still cruising down to Ela here. Alrighty, we got plenty of water. Just a nice, peaceful night ride, if you will. Although we do have the 30 curve coming up, so I should probably put on a little bit of brake. Probably put on just a little bit. You almost forget sometimes that the early game here is very slow. I keep thinking, well, I've got like four passenger trades I have to take care of and a lot of switching. It's like, nope, right now two engines, handful of cars. Nothing's really kicked off yet. That kicks off in game tomorrow, which we'll get to soon here. It's just nice and peaceful, as it should be, because trains are fun. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make sure we have our marker lamps on. Do we have any lights on up at the front? Other than the headlight, let's go ahead and just get this as an extra so we got a little more light here. Alrighty. And we are approaching the yard limit for Ela, And we're just going to go ahead and drag these back once we get up to them here. I wonder. We're also going to try something here. Um, if I order another interchange, it would be here just after midnight. I wonder if we can do that. So we'll find out. Alrighty, Ela, so quiet, so peaceful. How many people are at the station? Ten. Yeah. Alrighty. We are here in the last crossing. Let's go ahead and close the throttle, start drifting a bit. Everything's looking good back here. Switch is lined. And that means we will slowly be approaching our equipment here. So let's go ahead and start braking. So I don't have a visual on how close those cars are. And I think they're literally just right up here. Yep, there's uh there they are. So we'll go ahead. Slowly couple up to them. We'll drag those back to the interchange. Okay. And a uh, rather gentle thud. All right. You're coupled up. Handbrake is going to be back here. And all of these are good to go. And so let's go. And we have no rear headlights, so uh, we're running blind at night. Perfect. All right, got to get past the, f the car here. Yep, everything looks good. Let me out, please. Please. My, oh, I fell off my train. Just like uh, Buster Keaton here trying to miss it in the general. And are there no handbrakes back or hand? Oh, that's on the other side of the car. There we go. Alrighty. 
So I guess I better make it back to my engine. That way I can keep a lookout just in case anything starts randomly moving here. Okay. Okay. Door, please. 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 Fine, I'll do the weird jump. And hopefully not get run over by the running gear. Alright. Give her some more throttle. Give her the beans. And let's really get rolling. Now, I do think, at least as a starting point, I may want to upgrade number one and number two to their larger counterparts. Because I never did that in the Suffern Southern uh, save. So that might be fun to do just for the sake of changing it up a little bit. So. We'll see what happens with that. Let's go ahead and blow for the crossing. Sorry, passengers, you're going to have to wait till tomorrow. 13 active freight bills, and that's all the stuff we're taking back. Fantastic. And let's go. Now, a couple of things I've decided I definitely will do for this railroad. Uh, starting in-game, probably tomorrow, we should have enough money to buy a charter caboose. And I'm planning to have my railroad run with charter cabooses that way. Uh, you know, they can double as passenger trains or also on freight, so I don't have to worry about which ones are which. Um, and that is a mod that is available on uh, Nexus Mods if you want to download that. Uh, and I believe uh, we also have the FPS uh, and memory link, uh, memory leak, I should say mod on so that's been helping us with stable performance especially when we do multiplayer uh, obviously for single player it's not as bad but people have reported that there have been issues with it so keep that in mind if you want to check it out those are both on nexus mods um, i will link those down in the video description in case you want to go check it out maybe by the time this is out a new version of that may be available so we'll see uh, no worries on speed. We're coming up to a 30 curve. We're only going 27. So let's go ahead and give her just a little bit more as we head backwards. What is our uh, Johnson bar set at? 50%. Let's do... Wow, that's this flingy. Um, usually 40% is what people have been saying is sort of the sweet spot. So we'll try that. We are on a uh, uphill grade, about six tenths of a of a grade. So, uh, 0.6 percent grade. Yes, that's that's how math works. That is exactly how math works. So, get a little bit of a grade to pull, and this engine's not super powerful. I think if we look here, this uh, I think it's the G23 Mogul. 23,000 pounds of tractive effort. Uh, factory adhesive is a 3. Uh, but it's not the strongest boy. So we'll probably upgrade to the G25 when we have the money to do so. And then the 440 will also look at getting the bigger 440 at some point. So that'll be helpful. Everything's looking good there. And... Yeah, we're not too far away from Whittier at this point.
always love doing some of the more cinematic stuff. Our train's gaining speed, which means we are approaching Whittier. So we're going to highball through. Uh, we'll let that just kind of head through for a moment. I want to make sure that our switches are lined. Uh, the Whittier station's not the problem. It's the actual stuff here. And I think because it's short enough, we should be able to just put that on this track here. We might have to put it on uh, two, but we'll see. So let's get back to our engine. As we approach Whittier Station. And meanwhile, let's just do a quick check on the log train up on the hill as we come through. Uh, oh, it doubled that amount of logs on that car. So we probably will send the number two up here just to get that done. And that'll also then get, uh, get that going here. So we'll let the train go by. Go ahead and just start drifting. Save on coal and water. And let's go ahead and get that switch thrown for us. All right. Let's go ahead and get over here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can pass by without any problems, but we'll find out. Of course, we'll be fine. The single-player session, no one's here to, to mock us. No one's here to cause confusion and delay. No Midlands or Generals or Storms or Zim Sams to hold us down. Okay. That was a very fast slowdown, but it should work. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to put this on too. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do a weird run around. And I'd rather not, because I'm lazy. Yeah, because otherwise that would foul that switch. Okay, let's go ahead and throw the switch. Just keep drifting as we back up.
right. Oh, and that's going to stop too early. Damn it. Keep her going. I need to clear the switch. All right. We're going to just shove these in. Now, hopefully, because these will hit the interchange tracks there. Perfect. Can I kick a whole bunch of these cars? Probably not, but you know what? Let's try. Perfect. There's absolutely no problem with kicking a whole string of cars like that. So we'll go ahead, tie a handbrake on on one car. And that should hopefully bring it to a stop here. Perfect, that's now reset. Our next interchange is in approximately an hour and 59 minutes. And we need to go up the hill to grab the car. So I'm going to go ahead, AI this puppy, and I will meet you at the top of Conley Creek to get that... Uh, Log train all sorted out. Alrighty, so we've made it up to the top of Conley Creek at L2. The train is still on its way up here. Um, but as part of the early game here, we should think about uh, purchasing more cars potentially for the railroad. And the easiest way to make money in the early game is, of course, logging. So let's take a quick look here. Because if we can get cars loading at L1 and L2... That would be very good. So we're looking at, let's see, Skeleton Flats, they're 680 bucks. Looks like we could order three of them. Is it worth it to get three? So while we're deciding, maybe, let's take a look at the locations here. So at Conley Creek, Track 1 has 20 logs ready. Track 2 has 0, so it's still loading up as we got it. And that one has 20. So, 3 cars, 3 logs each. That's 9 logs. That could be rather productive. So, we're going to go ahead. We'll put a fusee down to stop it before it hits there. And I think we will go ahead and purchase those three because I'd rather have them and just start loading them up. Well, there goes our money. But uh, let's go ahead and because we already have number two on the move up, where did those cars land? Of course they're at the end of that cut. Uh, of course they're at the end of that cut. So, number one, your crew has not arrived yet to get you fixed up. I don't care if you're a pastor train and that you need a lot of love. We're going to go ahead and get you in service. Because we can at least go ahead and get those set for Elf 1 and then drop them off. And then we'll advance to tomorrow in game. So let's see. All of you are going to go to Conley Creek L1. And you're going to copy that to the other two. Perfect. I wish we had a fourth car, because I think it can accommodate five there. Something like that. And let's, yeah, we don't have to worry about coal and water just yet. We'll take care of that in the morning. And back it'll run. Again, there's no uh, 
backing headlight on that string. So once we get that, we'll just go down the main with these uh, couple of empty flats. And we'll take care of that. So I just need you to hurry up. Number one. Oh good, I didn't derail. I thought for a moment I was going way too fast over that switch, and I probably was. But we didn't derail, so it's all good. Alrighty. Nice and quick through the yard. Good job, you. All right, let's get those couple of cars. And then we're also going to AI this one just to go up. And thankfully, it's going to go only as far as L1. So we'll be able to get it back to its perch and get it fixed up here ASAP. The nice thud, we've acquired them. Go ahead and let's back out on the main. Actually, we're gonna still go down track three. All the switches are already set, it'll just be one less thing to worry about. Yes, we might be going a little faster on the main just to get down there, but eh, not too worried. All right, with nighttime upon us, headlight is on, bell is off. You are now AI'd. Go forward, go fast. And that should be set. That's set, that's set. And then the exit to the yard is already set. So that'll be nice and quick for us to get that going. Meanwhile, where's our uh, Mikado? Or not Mikado, the other thing. Whatever that is. So we'll go ahead, get that switch there. That switch is set, and that's lined in. Put a fusey down at the end of track, which means that we can now go to... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Come on. Well, we have beat the uh, locomotive up here. So let's go ahead. How close are you? 2.2 and then 0.2. Because it's not going to matter when the other one gets up here. Because that should already have three logs. Or enough logs to fill up the entire train rather quickly. Okay, so with the set applied, let's just go ahead and advance time by a little bit. All right, that car is now ready. This one's at 0 0.9, so I think it's time for the next day. Ho! Oh. Reputation has changed from 0 0% to 108. How much money we got? Oh, great. We got a lot of money because we uh, paid, we sold that caboose. So, with that, we now have cars. Okay. Cool. So, with that, we're still waiting. Let's give it another hour. All right. That is now loaded. Let's get you down the hill. So 
So that'll get going. Let's go ahead and remove the fusee from underneath the engine. There should... No, there's not a fusee down here. So now there's a fusee. Uh, engine, why are you wheel spinning? Alright, so there it goes. That'll go down the hill. Meanwhile, the other locomotive... Should be arriving soon. Okay, it just got down there. Okay. Well, with this time, we're going to go ahead and set it so that way... We start unloading logs... And we've got our couple of cars for the sawmill, stencil, a few other things here. So we'll go ahead and get those delivered once number one is down here. Or no, I guess once number two is down here. That's still fine. We've now got our people for the coach, and the coach is now at 100%. So the coach is good. Alrighty. All right, so now where is that train? There it is. And I think... Let's see, what else can we get? So we're going to need to really maximize the operation here. And I believe five cars can fit at, um, at this point. So if we got two more, that would still leave us three grand... We don't need another engine yet. It'd be nice to have another coach, but we really don't need that yet either until we start running to uh, the other place. But the charter cabooses, yeah, those are all five grand, so we don't have the money for them yet. So the other thing is we have the skeleton flat car, so we do two down here. And then if we really want to maximize, we can also get uh, six or seven for the top of the hill. Which you know what? Let's let's try that. Let's get six, and that way we can just run another extra up here with number two. So once it gets here, we'll be good. And let's uh, let's just enjoy this little meet for a moment. Alrighty. So with that, we're going to have number two continue down. Yeah, this can easily have two more cars in here. for you to go backwards. Let's go ahead and get a handbrake applied. And that'll just follow the other cut down the hill. Now that'll get loading here. So we're all heading to the sawmill. All right, number one, have fun. We'll see you at the bottom of the hill. And let's go ahead with your sawmill. Copy the coupled. 
So now we're good. So I guess now we just have to head to the bottom of the hill. And maybe what we'll do is we'll have number one do a little bit of logging ops. That way number two can go ahead and do some of the actual deliveries to places for a little bit. So that way that's done. Because we definitely want to maximize what we're doing in the early game. That way we can advance a little bit faster, get a little bit more money, and not go into the red. And then have to pay down the debt. So how many cars we got? One for that, two for stencil, the do it your stand, Hallfield Oil, that's Ella House, a whole bunch of Ella Bridge, and then these, we're going to go ahead, we're going to set them for the Sawmill and Conley Creek L3, because that can just be taken up the hill and then dealt with as appropriate. So, the question is, where the hell's our train? They are coming down the mountain when they come. So we'll uh we'll try to go and meet them here. They're not too far away. But they definitely could hurry up. Maybe, please. There it is. Alrighty. All right. Now, while we're waiting, let's take a quick look. So, right now at the railroad, operation safety's at 94, but we can upgrade our contracts to tier 3. So, maybe we should do that. Um... Yeah, let's terminate these contracts. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Uh, we don't want to do that because the contracts need to be there for at least three days. So, ha ha, ha ha ha. Let's not do that. Let's not get hit with penalties. Now I can read. Okay. So that'll be good. All right, there's number one, number two is there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna let number two go through this switch. And then once it drops off the cars, we're gonna have this one go down there. So that way you can then go and grab those log cars and take them up the hill. Although at this, well, no, they probably should go up to the three. So that we just got dedicated sets. Which is what we attempted to do with uh, Suffer and Southern, but that quickly just went out the window. But, you know, we're early game in this railroad, so we'll see what we can do here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and slow down here. Number one should be passing us on the main. And I need to stop faster, so go ahead and plug it a bit. Just gotta love when two engines just run past each other at high velocities. All right. Alrighty, so that's doing fine. So we'll go ahead and get these dropped off at the pond because that'll be very good to get that going. Pastor engine is ready. We need to get it fixed up. 
Yeah, so I think what we'll end up doing, because we kind of need to get at the other end of some of the cars here, but we'll, uh, we'll make it work one way or another. Okay, so that's now stopped at the fuse E. And let's go ahead and stop the train, plug it. Well, that wasn't great. I need to pay more attention to stuff. But it did get the cars to stop. So there's that. All right. So that one's going to drift back. We're going to need to couple up to that cut of cars. So while that just drifts at five miles an hour, we're going to go ahead and take number one yard, you're clear 20 cars forward. <laughs> So that'll be good. We'll get L3 moving. Now, do we want to run around here up there? Probably up there, because that way we'll be able to get number two all set. And actually, it's a good point. If we can do 20 cars there, that one is going to be clear reverse 20 cars. And we can take out the Fusey, yes. Okay, come on, couple up. Beautiful. All right, no handbrakes on? No handbrakes on. Very nice. Okay. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and just send number one up. And where is number two? Clear back another 20. Alrighty. Come on, clear the switch. Alright, there it is. All right, number one, you you go now. You you go do things. You got plenty of cold water. All right, so let's just make sure you're lined. That'll back up and do its thing. And that should unload pretty quickly. All right, yeah, and that'll go up. So let's just check check one is reset and there should be no other switches thrown there. This is going to go up off of two onto three though. So let's go and make sure that that's good. And it's going to have to run around its cut of cars. So what we will do is we will go ahead and set you into there. Put a fusey down there. And an emergency fusey there, just in case. But uh, that should get it up the hill. Meanwhile, we can take care of number two. So. All right, let's see. Stencil's a back in. That's a back in. That's a forward floop. So what I think we're going to do. Start sorting. Nope, don't want the door open. Box car, you're mine. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna move that passenger car out of the way here. Cause that car's gonna need to go like right there for the oil. So in order for us to get the Whittier sawmill cars in Wait, no, I could just I could just wing it in there. Silly rabbit tricks for kids. Yeah, if it's just one car, I can easily toss that. Meanwhile, that's unloading pretty quickly. How many we got? One login, 5% full. Cool. Excellent. Before I leave, I will need to get some water and coal, though, for that engine. So what we'll do, go ahead, slow her down. Nope, too slow. And that shouldn't matter which one we go in. So it's already lined for the main one there. So we'll go ahead, drift down, take care of that. Come on, train. Let's back up just a little bit more so we can appropriately throw this car in. Okay. Go, my little engine. Be free. Is this going to have enough momentum to get over there? We'll find out. Because it sure as hell had momentum to go up there. <laughs> yeah, we should be fine. All right, that is now set. And we've made our first delivery. Excellent. All right, we're going to go ahead. We'll take out some coal and water here. Well, that's refueling house number one doing. It's getting there. Needs a bit to get up the hill. But uh, as we refuel here, we'll end up calling it. We got a lot done with the logging to get the cars uh, underway up there. We already are making deliveries at their, uh, at their uh, lob sawmill with the logs. We've made our first formal delivery at the sawmill, and we've got a bit more switching and deliveries to do here. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the channel members who are supporting uh, here, me, Angry Ragtimer. Appreciate all of you. If you'd like to learn more about being a channel, a channel member, please uh, check down where it has that join button there or down in the video description. And if you haven't already done so, please consider liking the video, sharing it with your friends, and of course, subscribe, and we certainly appreciate any and all support you can. 
and uh, we'll see you for some more fun on the Suffren Southern. No, wait, no, this is not the Suffren Southern. This is the Blue Ridge and Western. See, I'm already pre-programmed with what it is. So we'll see you here on the Blue Ridge and Western next time for more fun with Angry Ragtimer. We'll see ya.